Hi, young ladies. My name is Angelica Vasquez Ortega, and I am from Bowling Green State University. I am, I am an assistant professor. Uh, my area of expertise is geochemistry. I also do a little bit of water quality, and today we're going to be doing the pH activity that you all have in your package. You guys are going to be receiving specific um, pH strips in your kit. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this uh, strips, we're going to be inserting them briefly and every time that we do it we take a new one and then the color of the strip is going to change. We're going to compare that with the legend that you have in your container and that will tell you if the pH is acidic or if it's neutral or if it is basic. There are many different ways of analyzing pH. This is one simple way that you guys are learning, but if you are working in a lab in the future, let's say that you have a laboratory experience doing research, there are more uh, sophisticated instruments that can allow you to measure the pH of a specific solution. So let's try first the Coke one. So you guys again are gonna dip the water briefly and you're gonna see the change in color. Then you're gonna compare with your kit, with the legend that you have, and then you will notice that the pH, the typical pH for a Coke uh, solution, it's about three pH three, okay? Which means it's slightly acidic. Below pH seven is acidic. Actually, it's, it's, it's very acidic. Uh, typically, the pH in our uh, stomach, it's about two to three. So this has a pH of three already. Okay, now we are gonna move to the second solution. In this case is tap water. Again, we're gonna take the strip. We're gonna insert that very briefly. And we are gonna wait a couple of seconds and then compare the color with the color that we have in our chart. And typically you will, you will see that the pH for tap water is between 6.5 to 7, so slightly neutral. Then we are gonna compare, or we're gonna be measuring the last solution. In this case, this is tomato juice. And again, the same process. We're gonna insert that briefly. Let's remove a little bit of the, of the liquid because the color might interfere. And then we are comparing, and the pH for this one is around pH four. So now we can see that we have different pH for the different solutions, pH 3, pH 7, and pH 4. So we now know that these are more acidic and this one is more neutral. Maybe solutions that you're going you to be finding at your home might be in the alkaline, so above pH 7. And this way you can test many different solutions around your house and, and understand how each and one of them has a different pH range. Again, we did three different specific solutions, the coke, the water, the tomato juice, but now I'm inviting you guys to go around your house, maybe go to the fridge or uh, test the saliva of your dog or your brother or sister or mom and dad if they allow you. Um, all, you know, with the permission of your parents, you can test the dishwasher, or the, the detergent for, the, for your clothes. Any solution that you can ask for permission and they allow you, you can go now home and see and compare how all of these different solutions have different pH, different pH values. Okay, so I hope that you like this activity. You all are gonna have your pH strips in your package. Please go and have fun doing this. I'm so happy that you guys are joining this event. Uh, I hope that you also have fun doing this activity at home. Bye-bye.